So basically guys, Emerald Photos is a reverted version of this. Hi guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel and if you are still new to my channel, I do some product review, vlog tutorials, and etc. So this is my very first gardening or plant content. And if you don't know me, I actually love plants, specifically this indoor plant, this Potos plant. Um, yeah. So Potos plants are very are a very versatile plants. They can actually live anywhere. I mean, I like everywhere in your room, uh, office, in your kitchen, bathroom, or like literally everywhere you know what i'm saying they are very easy to grow and propagate and they are very affordable you know what i'm saying like everyone can afford it i would highly recommend this plant for those beginners the ones to plant you know what i'm saying because they are very easy to take care of and if you neglect them they can still live they can still survive like me Char so in this video, I am going to be identifying different varieties of photos plants. There are actually a lot of varieties out there. I think my outfit is too much. I'm just going to change white. Do I look good now, guys? Char! So yeah, they have a lot of varieties in the market. And luckily, I have everything with me right now yeah and i am actually a collector and without further ado let's start so the botanical name of this plant is epipremnum orion for more information about this photos plant just check the description you will read everything there and first on my list is the jade photos wait but first i'm gonna be categorizing this beautiful photos from common ones to rare and to very rare and first on my list is yeah this jade photos over here so i am gonna be identifying them from um, the shape leaf the color and the texture so as you can see right now this jade photos the shape of this is a narrow heart shaped leaf just like this like you are what you're seeing in your screen right now and the color of this is actually dark green or solid green and the texture is it's flat it is a flat leaf and it's kind of smooth so ito yung pinaka easy na maggrow sa kanila maybe because solid green siya mas marami siyang chlorophyll so very very common to in fact hiningi ko lang siya sa kapitbahay doon sa tambayan namin sa San Jose and down si Ilocos Sur so very very easy to grow siya and actually um, nagiging super malaki siya like what you're seeing right now yeah next is the golden photos you guys and very similar siya sa jade except ito is my variegation my my variegation siya na yellow or sometimes cream so the sh the shape leaf of this is parang jade then heart narrow heart shape leaf siya and minsan is mas ano siya mas 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 payat parang ganito and the color of this is sometimes ganin din dark green tapos yun nga may my cream splash or my yellow golden parang ganon the texture of this is Ganun din, flat siya, tapos is smooth. Next, guys, is my Hawaiian photos or the giant golden photos. So, you might be wondering, bakit siya tinawag na giant? Kasi nga, from the word itself, uh, mas malaki to comparing sa golden photos. And, yung leaf shape niya is mas, mas parang mas round, mas heart talaga, mas heart shape siya. Tapos, um, dark green din yung color. Tapos, my parang golden din pero mas giant lang to if you know what I'm saying and I actually stumbled a post on Facebook so sabi dito guys from wisdom health and literature giant golden photos or epipremnum pinarum golden giant photos is different from golden photos giant photos will start from small leaves but eventually turn into a giant monster plant if planted in soil freely 
But the normal golden photos will never turn into a monster giant photos. No amount of fertilizer can make it a giant monster photos. Well, actually guys, I kinda disagree about this pose. I am very sorry to say that. Plus, this is not an epipremnum pinatum. It's actually an epipremnum aureum. And epipremnum pinatum is actually a different species. And if you want to know more about the difference between epipremnum pinatum and, Epip and epipremnum aureum, I'm gonna be leaving a, I'm gonna be dropping a link down below so that if you're interested, you can read it. So why do I disagree? Na um, never daw magiging giant yung golden photos. Okay, let me tell you my story. So as you can see in this on, on this photo, yan ay actually a golden photos na naka-attach sa isang puno, specifically an acacia tree. Hey! And if you're going to zoom it out, mapapansin nyo guys na from small leaves, nagiging malaki siya and eventually magiging monster. Um... Kinuha ko to um, in front of our building sa College of Teacher Education, University of Northern Philippines. Shout out guys. And tinanong ko sa caretaker guys, nung, ano, nung plant na iyon. First is nagtanim daw siya ng golden photos. Nagtanim po siya nito ng golden photos. Tapos, jade photos. So, um, nilagay niya ito sa, directly sa soil. Tapos, mga ilang ilang taon, oh, years guys, ah, years ito. So, ilang taon, naging giant sila. Yes, guys, you heard it right. Pati yung jade, nagiging giant Then So, hindi lang si Golden Photos ang nagiging giant. Kaya, I disagree sa post na ito. Kasi, um, in conclusion na guys, if itatanim mo yung photos mo sa, directly sa soil, tapos, meron siyang pag-aanohan, pag, aning list yung kalat cotton, Did the vine, it would, it will, oh my god. If it can attach itself into a pole, no, if it can attach itself to a tree, then it will become a giant. And actually, you guys, hindi lang si Golden Photos at si Jade ang nagiging giant. While, in fact, lahat po ng klase ng photos ay nagiging giant. That's impossible. That's not true. Before you comment that you disagree about what I what I've said, let me post this. Uh, brace yourself, guys. Dito lang sa channel ko ito. Uh, makikita niyo to mga giant photos na ito. Char. So yan. Brace yourselves, guys. Punta na tayo sa giants. Mabilisan lang to. Number one on my list is the giant marble queen. Hmm. Diba? Ang ganda. Posted by Mom Garzon Liza Estimada. She posted it on photos and syngonium collectors buy and sell. Diba guys? It's so beautiful and it's so big. Next on my list is this giant enjoy photos. Mm. Yeah, and posted by Sir Nem de la Cruz Co. He posted it on the same group. Ayan, diba guys? Just go. Mas malaki pa ata yan kaysa sa mukha ko. Mm. Ha! Yan. Next, guys. Oo, meron pa. Is this giant menjula. Diyos ko. Would you look at that white color? It's so prominent. Prominent! Alright. So, it was posted by Sir Maki Barcoma. He posted it on the same group. Ayan, guys. Diba? Sobrang ganda. And, hindi lang yan yung collection ni Sir. Meron pa to. At yan. O, oh, diba? Sound effect ko na yun. Guys, oh my God. It's so beautiful, Sir. Baka naman. Ang gaganda po. Pero sold out na daw. Mm, sir, baka naman. Next time. Char! <laughs> diba, guys? Na sobrang nakaka-inget. Like, I am so inget. I wish I can afford those. And I wish I have giants. And lastly, sa giant list ko, guys, this is my um, top one favorite. Oh my God. Brace yourselves, guys. Ito na siya. Mmm. Ayan. Giant neon. Ang ganda. Sana all ate. Imagine you're surrounded with neon giants. Oh my God. Perfect. Ate baka naman. This was posted by ate Georgette. Georgie Erasga. Um, she posted it on indoor houseplant for sale. Ate, ang ganda. 
<laughs> Ante baka naman. Char! Ay, meron pa pala guys. Last is the... Oh my God, this is the rarest... Ah, may ako na sabihin yun. This is the Jesenia photos or the giant Jesenia. Oh my God, would you look at that? Ang ganda. It was posted by Mom Martha Dizon on our group, Photos and Singonium Collectors Buy and Sell. And if you're also a collector, feel free to join in our group. Um, I'm gonna be linking down the link below. You know what I'm saying? So let us move on with the giants because I'm gonna sell us mga babies. Ko. And if hindi nyo ma and hindi nyo type yung giant, um, you can just put it in pots. If nakapat lang kasi siya, never talaga siya magiging giant. But as I've said on my earlier statement, well, um, if you're going to put it directly on a soil, tapos magaano siya, magaganon siya ta sa puno, ay di magiging giant siya. Like, ilang years. So, going back sa common photos natin is my... Asa na yun? Neon photos! Yes! One of my favorite now. Ito siya, guys. So, as you can see, the new leaves are actually neon color. And the older leaves are chartreuse. And the shape is like jade. It is heart-shaped and it is very very flat it's shiny too and sometimes na confuse yung tao if ito ba ay philodendron kasi may kamukato which is si lemon lime philodendron pero this is not philodendron i don't know bakit ganito yung shape nito mm, fake siya para yung friend mo char since very similar si Jade at saka si Neon, kulay lang naman yung difference nila. Wala silang variegation and anything. Pinagsama ko sila guys, ayan ang ganda nila. And sobrang bilis po nilang mag-grow dalawa. The next common photos that I have is this Enjoy photo. So, maraming nakukonfuse guys sa Enjoy, Glacier, at saka Pearls and Jade. Well, very very similar lang naman talaga sila and i'm gonna be helping you how to tell them apart so the color of enjoy guys is, is, is strictly solid green and white color only yun lang guys dalawa lang and the shape of this naiiba siya tapos hindi siya flat parang na crumpled medyo na crumpled siya ganun tapos in straight pero Hindi straight like me. Char! So, ayun. While si Glacier naman, guys, on the other hand, is my three, ano, uh, four to five colors siya, which is dark green, green, silvery green, silver, tapos sometimes white, or cream. Ganon, ganon kadami yung color niya. So, if pagdidikitin natin silang dalawa, as you can see on your screen, you can easily tell them apart. Diba guys? Dalawa lang yung kulay ni Enjoy. Tapos si, si Glacier is 4 plus yung kulay niya. Tapos yung shape naman ni, ni Glacier. Most sa mga Glacier guys is pabilog yung shape niya. Pero ito guys is, as you can see, parang, parang cone na flat. Parang yung mukha ko lang. So, ang pinakalas sa common photos ko guys is this Marble Queen photos. So, ang kulay nito guys is cream and green. Tapos, yung shape niya is heart shape din, just like the rest of ano, photos. Tapos, yung texture, flat. I almost forgot guys, meron pa pala akong last na common photos. And this is... Ang pangalan po nito sa market is Silver Photos or Satin Photos or sometimes Silver Satin Photos. O, oh, ba Ang dami niyang pangalan. But this is not actually a true photos. This is not a Epipremnum Orium but this is a Syndapsus. So, ang kulay po nito guys, ang ganda. It's dark green tapos pag natapat siya sa araw is may ano siya, may silver effect kineme. Kita niyo ba guys? 
Jmog, yung kumatik sil seal lang. Char! Basta may silver chinas siya, guys. Tapos yung, yung shape lift niya, hindi siya heart shape. Kung parang ano siya, um, pa... What's the shape of this? Para siyang half moon. Hmm? Parang ako lang, guys. Char! And the texture of this, um, flat siya, tapos medyo thick. Tapos, medyo sometimes waxy, ganun. And kahit hindi siya true photos, marami pa, ling, marami pa rin nagkakalik ng ganito. Actually, madami din tong, ano eh, varieties. And now we're done with the common ones, and let's move on and go to the rare ones. Yes, metal straw, by the way. So, I have here with me my Manjula photo. So, the leaf shape of this is unlike the other photos. It is actually like this. It's round and it's not that hard shape. And the texture is kind of rough. And yeah, the color of this is actually green and yellow green. And sometimes the baby or the young ones possesses like a cream color. So para para talaga siyang paper na medyo na crumple lang ganon. And these photos is very pricey. Um, dalawang dahon lang is 300 plus na ganun. And thank you sa sponsor ko. Salamat po. And next on my list, guys, is this. Cebu Blue Photos. Well, again, guys, this is not a true photos. This is not Epipremnum Orium, but this is Epipremnum Pinatum. So, ito yung kafamily ni Cebu Blue Photos. Bakit nga ba photos siya? Ewan ko din. <laughs> yung mga botanists kasi noon, uh, never mind about that. Just read the link na ilalagay ko na lang sa baba. Ito yung kafamily ni Cebu Blue Photos. This is Dragon Tail. If nagmature si Cebu Blue Photos, magkakaroon siya ng fenestration. Ang fenestration is yung mga split-split na gaya po nito. Parang monstera, but it is not monstera, okay? Well, actually, all kinds of photos, if they mature, um, if they will go to their adult form, they will going to have a fenestration. Uh, leaf shape of this is like a long leaf. And then the color of this is like a bluish green, something like that. Kaya nga Cebu blue. And this is originally from the Philippines, which is from Cebu. Mm, wow, it's more fun in the Philippines. Oh, whatever. So, dito sa Kandon, walang, nagbibi, walang nagbebenta ng Cebu Blue. So, ang rare talaga nito, guys. And, kay, um, ilalagay ko yung mga names ang nagbilhan ko ng mga plants na to sa baba. Thank you, ma'am, for this. Ma'am Edita. Next on my list, guys, is this. Um, ang pangalan po nito is, is No Queen Photo. So, basically, this is a marb. It's just, it's just the same as Marble Queen. Ang difference lang nito guys is si Snow Queen is more white than than Marble Queens. Si Marble is my um, green and cream color while si Snow Queen naman is meron siyang white and green color. At the same siya sa leaf shape and texture. Next guys is this. Yeah, and this is my Harley Queen or Harley Queen, whatever you want it, photo. So basically, this is also a Manjula but a whiter version. Same as to Marble to Snow Queen and this is Manjula to Harley Queen, Harley Queen. So it's like a whiter variety or a whiter form. Another example is this. So nandun sa likod yung mga plants kong to, masututa ka mga ala. Kita nyo lahat at itatatan. Diba? Bongga. Gustong gusto ko talaga yung mga plant na ano guys, maraming white. Share ko lang. So, those are all my rare ones. And magmove on naman na tayo sa very rare. Ayan. So, part naman na ito is mga ano, collectors to collectors na hindi na siya um, nandun sa market. Ganun. I think. Ito guys is, ang pangalan nito, Shangri-La Potos or Sleeping Potos. So, ang price po nito, guys, is half a thousand. Ganon. More than that. And, salamat po sa nagbigay nito sa akin. A special friend of mine. Pero, hindi na siya special ngayon. What? 
Oh, what a box! Tring! So, ang leaf shape and texture po nito, guys, is parang, ano, na crumpled na paper na tunis-twist. Tapos, para siyang, ano, um, kalogong timang gagamod. Kaya nga, ang other name po nito is Witch's Hat Photos. Ayan. And, yung color po niya is dark green, parang jade. And, may variegated version po itong sleeping photos na ito, which is, boom! Ito po ang variegated Shangri-La or variegated sleeping photos. Um, binigay na naman po ito ng friend ko, ng special friend ko. Thank you, thank you very much if you're watching this, which you probably wouldn't because you're not special anymore. Char! Um, salamat, salamat po kasi binigyan mo ako nito at kinompleto mo yung collection ko. So, yung color po nitong variegated version is medyo yellow-green comparing sa sleeping, sa dito. Tapos, may ano siya, may yellow-yellow variegation. Parang ano lang, um, golden photos. Tapos, ito naman is si jade photos. And actually, hindi hindi pa 100% complete yung collection ko, guys. Kasi, wala po akong Jesenia. Yeah. Opo. Um, si Jesenia, guys, nakita nyo, nakita nyo na siya kanina, which is yung giant Jesenia. Ito po yung original look ng, ng Jesenia. Sobrang hirap po niyang hanapin. Opo. Ang Jesenia, guys, is yung kulay niya is parang chartreuse na may mix ng green and everything. Parang crossbreed siya ng, ng golden photos. Tapos, um, marble photos. Akala ko nga before is reverted na marble, pero hindi pala. Well, speaking of reverted marble, meron din po palang um, ito. Ang tawag po niyan is half and half or half moon. Try! Half moon photos. So, so as you can see guys sa photos na ito, yung other half niya is green na and yung other half is nandun pa din yung variegation which is the marble marble queen. Sad to say guys, ito is on the process of reverting na. Um, mga ilang years, mawawala na yung variegation. Kumbaga, magiging completely green na siya. Kaya, ngayon that you have time sa mga may ganitong photos, take a picture with it and everything kasi sobrang ganda nito. And actually, matatawag din tong very rare kasi ilan lang yung ganito. And sobrang ganda nitong plant na to guys kasi diretso is ano siya, is ganyan siya. Ang consistent nung pagka-half niya. Sana all mag. Ang ganda! And going back to Jesenia though, so ayun, wala akong Jesenia Baka naman sa special friend ko, bumilik ka. Char! And those are all my photos collection. And before I end this video, I am gonna be giving some of my plants for free. So, magkakaroon po tayo ng game. Yes, so since this is my very first plant vlog, this is going to be extra special. You know what I'm saying? So, since tapos na akong mag-identify or mag-ID ng mga plants, it's your turn naman to identify some of these plants so as you can see guys so ayan post that vid and take note of that um limang limang photos lang yan and if nasagot nyo po yung limang photos na yan ng tama bibigyan ko po kayo ng first my enjoy photos yeah. My 2-in-1 photos, which is the neon photos, and my jade photos. Hindi lang yun, guys. I am going to give you one of my epipremnum pinatum, a cocoa pole, and a spray bottle for the cocoa pole. You know what I'm saying? So, sa mga gusto pong sumali sa game, um, stay updated. I'm gonna be posting the mechanics in the comment section. And that brings us to the end of this video, guys. I hope this video will going to help you on how to identify photos and how to tell them apart and everything. So, bye, guys. Stay updated with the mechanics. Sayang yung prizes. You know what I'm saying. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Bye.